All right, guys, so today we are going to be taking a look at some Peppy Gal units. We got two new units as well as four Extremes the Awakenings. So for the new units, we have this Int Chilai, which is, I believe, the first standalone Chilai in this game. Because the only other Chilai we have is um, part of the Broly trio, right? So yeah, we got the Chilai. We also have a Fizz Fasha. And then for the Extremes the Awakenings, there's the STR Chi Chi, the Biz Youth Chi Chi, the Tech Bulla, and finally the Int Transforming Rebrian. So there is a lot of info to get through in this video. I'm gonna try to make it not too long, but first things first, we'll start with the animations for the Chi Lai and Fasha. So here we go. Let me pause this. I will pause my music as well. And enjoy, guys. So there you go, yeah, short and sweet, nothing too crazy, but they both look very good, especially the Chi Lai. There's something about the style for that one that is uh, very pleasant to look at. It's, it's very smooth. It's kind of like the um, Broly Trio animations from a few years ago, right? So yeah, I'm a big fan of the animations, even though they're pretty basic as a whole. And now, let's jump over to you probably guessed the homie Koresh's Twitter page where he has provided us with the translations for both units. So big shout out and thank you to Koresh. And starting here with the Chila, you know what? I'm going to actually disappear for a second just so I'm not blocking anything. So we have the Chila here. Cheerful scouting lifestyle. Leader skill is bond of friendship. Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and seal super attack with a high chance to stun the enemy. Passive is key plus three and defense plus 139% at the start of the turn reveals the location of the enemy super attack during this character's attacking turn. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, great chance to evade enemy attacks and defense plus 39% for each attack evaded during the turn recovers 39% HP at the end of the turn whenever three attacks have been evaded during the battle, max of three activations, and then all allies other than this character keep plus three and attack and defense plus 39%. So basically Chi Lai is the ultimate support unit. She's gonna do very little damage, like almost no damage for herself, but she does essentially everything else. I mean, she gets good defense, she has a great chance to dodge, which is 70%. She gets 39% defense for every uh, attack evaded, so if she does take a hit after a few dodges, she's going to be very tanky. And then she's recovering 39% HP after evading three attacks. Of course, there's a limit, only three activations, but that is still an insane amount of healing, guys. That is ridiculous. And of course, uh, amazing support. Key plus three, attack and defense plus 39%. She doesn't get that, but that is very good for a, you know, all types support, right? So, um, oh, of course, I can't forget her super attack seals and has a high chance to stun. So, yeah, basically, they gave her all of the supporting aspects um, a unit could possibly have. And uh, I just think it's a really cool design, guys. It's a really, really cool design, and um, I'm not sure how much I would run her, honestly, but she seems like she could be really useful, like super, super useful because of the ability to see enemy super attacks, because of the stunning and sealing, which would be great in Super Battle Road. Um, of course, defensively, 
I mean, unless the enemy cancels dodge, which does happen sometimes at the end of stages, um, she's going to be very good defensively, right, with the dodging, and uh, even if she does take a hit, if you've dodged a couple of attacks, then she's going to be quite tanky, and then the healing is insane, so... It's just a very cool unit, man. I, I really like the design of this Chilai. And uh, links are Flea, Cold Judgment, Battlefield Divas, New Frieza Army, Solid Support, Brainiacs, Chattering the Limit, categories are Bond of Friendship, Peppy Gals, and Space Traveling Warriors. So that is the Chilai. Now let's move on to the Biz Fasha. So for the Fasha, uh, leader skill is Low Class Warrior, or Peppy Gals category key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 130%. Super attack raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage with a high chance to stun. Passive attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn. Guard activated against all attacks for four turns from first appearance. Performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack starting from the fifth turn from start of battle. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 30% with each attack received up to 150% and then gains an additional attack and defense plus 30% each time guard is activated. If there are more than 3 Peppy Gals or 3 low class warrior category allies on the team other than this character, up to a max of attack and defense plus 150%. So uh, this Fasha is definitely a much more traditional unit with just, you know, big attack and defense boosts. Uh, she starts off more tanky with the guard, and then she becomes more offensive after the uh, fourth turn with the additional attack with a high chance to become a super, right? And then, um, you know, she can get a insanely huge attack and defense boost, actually, depending on the team you're running. If you have the three Peppy Gals or three low-class warriors, like on a Team Bardock team, for example, then, uh, you know, she's getting over what, 450% attack and defense? Is that right? Something like that. So, yeah, she should be doing some pretty good damage. She should be getting some very good defense. And, um, of course, the high chance to stun is also uh, good on the super attack. Her links are Team Bardock, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Pride, Saiyan Lineage, uh, Battlefield Divas, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Low Class Warrior, Peppy Gals, Pure Saiyans, Team ba uh, Bardock, Space Traveling Warriors, and Storied Figures. So, uh, that is the Fizz Fasha. She looks solid, but uh, not as interesting to me as the Chi Lai, just because Chi Lai design is uh, very unique. It's not something we've really seen from a unit before, just like a pure um, support in every sense of the word, you know, is uh, really dope. Anyways. That's Fasha. Now let's jump over to the Dokkan Wiki. And why don't we start here with the Int Rebrian. Now I could start with, you know, the uh, pre-transformation, but she transforms on turn one anyways. So let's just jump over to the transformed Rebrian. And her uh, leader skill after Extremes Awakening is Peppy Gals or Transformation Boost Category Key plus 3. HP Attack and Defense plus... 150% super attack raises attack and defense, causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. And this, of course, can be stacked infinitely. And then passive is attack and defense plus 140%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, and all enemies attack and defense minus 10%, up to minus 30% per Peppy Gals category ally on the team. Peppy Gals category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%, and then launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when the enemy is in attack down or defense down status. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when the target enemy is stunned or sealed. So that is the entry Brienne. Um, she seems, you know, just like a slightly improved, I mean, not slightly actually, a pretty decently improved version of, uh, you know, what she was before the Extremes of Awakening, which is what you would expect. She's better offensively now because of the additional attack that can become a super. She's a even better support. Actually, no, let me see. Uh, she's the same level of support. She's the same level of support. She's just better for herself with the bigger attack and defense boosts and then the additional attack. And, um, of course, infinitely stacking attack and defense is also a big plus for longer events, so... 
if you're bringing a Peppy Gauss team on, you know, le Legendary Goku event or Legendary Vegeta event or Infinite Dragon Ball History, then she's going to be much more effective for those purposes. And I'm just thinking about, like, how much easier the uh, Peppy Gals Extreme Z, or sorry, no, the Peppy Gals Super Battle Road stage is going to be now. I mean, it was already pretty easy. It was already pretty easy because the team was becoming pretty OP, but now, uh, with all these Extreme Z Awakenings, with the Fasha, with the Chilai, um, those stages, those Super Battle Road stages are going to be even more of a joke than they already were. So they need to release like an updated version of that because yeah, it's becoming way too easy, right? So anyways, we got the rebrand. Let's jump over to the uh, Bola now. Leader skill is AGL and tech types key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack massively raises attack, causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense. And then uh, passive is defense plus 88% plus an additional defense plus 88% when performing a super attack. All allies keep plus 3 and attack plus 40% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 40% and chance of enemies attacks including super attacks plus 35% per uh, Peppy Gal's uh, category ally on the team up to uh, 70%. Hold on, what did I say before? Did I say chance of enemies attack plus 35%? It's chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, plus 35% per Peppy Gauss category ally on the team up to 70%. And then plus an additional key plus 3 and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18%. When there's an ally whose name includes Vegeta, Kid, Junior, etc. excluded, plus an additional attack plus 88% when performing a super attack if that ally is attacking in the same turn. So um, even though she now has, you know, some ability to do some damage, that still isn't going to be her strong suit. She's mainly going to be used as a all ally support and the key plus three and attack plus 40% is still phenomenal. And uh, of course, defensively, she's going to be much more effective now with up to 70% chance to dodge, which is essentially a great chance to dodge. And uh, also, getting much more defense, right? 88% and then 88% on the super. And then, you know, 40 more percent with the Peppy Gals allies. And uh, I guess that's about it. So she's gonna be pretty okay defensively. I think you're still gonna be mainly re uh, relying on the dodge because, you know, a super on some harder events will still get you in some trouble. But um, yeah, I think this is what she needed, man. She needed to be more defensive. She needed to be able to survive while providing that support. And I think this accomplishes that. Her attack should still be, like, pretty low. I mean, I don't see her putting up numbers more than 2 mil or so. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. This is just what I see on paper right now. But uh, we don't really need her for the damage anyways, right? As long as she's staying alive and providing the you know, keep plus three and 40% uh, attack support, then I'm good to go. So that is the bullet. Now let's move on to the STR Chi Chi leader skill. STR and Fizz types, keep plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage and seals super attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 100%, plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. All allies keep plus two and defense plus 50%. Peppy gals category allies keep plus one and defense plus 70% in addition and medium chance of performing a critical hit. So yeah, um, looks really good. Still an insane defensive support, I mean, 120% defense for Peppy Gals is just ridiculous. And now she's also providing support to, you know, other allies if you're not running a full Peppy Gals team. And on top of that, she can do a little bit more damage. She can, you know, be a little bit more tanky as well. So, um, just an all, just an all, all around, like, solid, uh, Extreme Z Awakening, I would say, for the SDR Chi And finally, we have... 
the Fizz Youth Chi Chi. Leader skill is Int and Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is attack plus 330%. When performing a super attack, attack minus 30% for 3 turns after receiving an attack. And then key plus 2 and defense plus 200% when there is a character whose name includes Goku Youth on the team, plus an additional key plus 2 and defense plus 100% if that character is attacking in the same turn. And then chance of performing a critical hit and chance of evading an attack, including super attacks, plus 20% per youth category ally attacking in the same turn, self excluded. So essentially, you're getting up to 40% uh, there because. You can only have two other units on the rotation, right? So yeah, up to 40% crit chance and 40% uh, evade chance if you have two other youth category allies on the rotation. So that is the youth Chi Chi. Um, she's interesting. She's interesting. I mean, a little bit situational, of course, because to get the most out of her, you need to have, you know, the youth Goku. You need to have um, other youth uh, characters on the team. So she's basically you know, kind of exclusive to the youth category. Uh, but on that team, she's going to be fun to run at the very least. She's getting a lot of attack. She is losing some attack after taking a hit. So that's something to keep in mind. But it's not like a massive debuff. And um, aside from that, you know, she can get quite tanky with the uh, youth Goku on rotation. And uh, the 40% dodge chance is also nice. So... Yeah, that is the Youth Chi Chi. Those are the four Extremes the Awakenings we're getting. And uh, also the two new units, which are very interesting, especially the Chi Lai. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below um, how you guys feel about all of this new stuff. The Chi Chi and Fasha, or sorry, the uh, Chi Lai and Fasha, the four Extremes the Awakenings. Um, once again, Man Peppy Gals is just getting more and more uh, relevant, I guess. I'm still not going to say it's like a top 10 team by any means, but it's getting up there, man. It's getting up there. If we keep going in this direction, and if we especially get like a 200% leader skill for Peppy Gals, then it's going to be a super viable team to run. I mean, it might already be a viable team to run, honestly, in some of the harder events in the game. Like, I'm sure there's someone out there who's, like, beating, you know, most of the red zone stages with a Peppy Gals team. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. I don't know if that's viable, but I feel like with the new additions, with all the Extremes the Awakenings we're getting, uh, it's got to be possible with enough patience, right? And of course, you know, Super Battle Road, no problem. Um, legendary Goku events, Legendary Vegeta event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, those should be quite doable as well with this team. So, yeah, lots of love for Peppy Gals. Uh, the, of course, the Chi Chi, the, the youth Chi Chi is not in um, Peppy Gals, but it's good to see that youth is also getting some love too, because the uh, youth category is not great right now, but it's definitely getting better. It's definitely getting better. So, there you go, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the TAM video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.